Good morning, this is Chrissy. I'm here today to share a mini album. It's been such a long time since I've made a mini album that, and I thought maybe I'd better see if I can still <laughs> cope with it. So <laughs> I, that's what I've done. Um, this mini album is to, it's a show and tell book in a way and a memory book. Um, I give a lot of my projects away and do them for other people so I thought I always take photos of them and I thought I'll make a book to um, put the photos in and then I've got that as a memory so this book is um, titled From the Attic and it's a uh, um, um, I've made it from three paper collections, Heartfelt Creations Antiquity Collection, Prima Time Traveller's Memories and um, Kaisercraft Timeless Classics and they to me seem to work well together so um, there's bits of each of those collections in this book. Um, I've made a chipboard cover which I've painted and then covered with um, lace that I've dyed. I wanted it to have a very obviously from the attic look about it so hence you know any of you who know me know I like the tattered look so I've tried to achieve that with the book. Um, I've bound the book with um, a method of binding that I didn't come up with myself. Um, several years back I went to a class and this is the way we bound um, our album so I've used that. Um, the back of the book I've tried my hand at stenciling, um, a first for me but um, oh. <laughs> I had originally thought that I may do the front of the cover with a stencil, but I changed my mind about that. So, um, I've made a tag here for the cover and, you know, just done my usual thing with... I've tied it with this bit of just calico that I've stamped. And um, this is a tag here with some lace and pearls and my usual deal. So I'll take you inside my book. Um, on this page here I've written a little spiel about what grandmother's attic is to me. It's, it's that um, place where I go to do my creating. Um, this page here is the, this is from the Kaiser Craft and I did like that postcard there that has the um, from mother written on it. Um, I've used a lot of the um, sorry the um, calic uh, muslin not muslin cheesecloth behind things and as I do with my journals. Um, the pages are cardstock I'll just take oh well I'll get to the middle and show you then how I've bound it. Um, this page here, this one I think is from, oh I'm not sure what collection that's from, but I've stitched around it and stitched around this page here. Um, used a lot of ink quite heavily throughout my book. Um, I like that look. This opens up and it's got two photo mats here. These two are from the um, Kaisercraft Timeless Classics. And this is like that. So I'll put little photos of my projects. Um, I can do the smaller size here and the bigger size here. Um, this page, I've made a pocket. These are some cutouts from, I think, once again, this is the Kaisercraft. Um, I can put some um, photos on those. 
little tag here just because it's cute and um, another little roots and lines there this is from the um, Prima Timeless uh, sorry Time Traveler's Memories and some pearls and a yeah this page is um, put a band here glossy accented the key some more little tags, just cutouts from the collection. Beautiful paper. And I thought very appropriate from the attic. And that little tag, some pearls of course. This page here, I've torn some paper to make two um, stops for a, another journaling tag a photo can go in there too this is um, Tim Holt's timeless oh, you know the one tattered florals I think and that's just a heart die um, all the way through I've got some dyed seam binding of course got to have that don't we Michelle <laughs> um, this page has got two magnet openings could put two photos here uh, or a big photo if I wanted I could journal there or put photos and they close and more photos could be added here or journaling on this one um, this page has a pocket that I've just glued the side and the bottom and more tags another little book a tag hanging from the top some lace and trim And here is what the centre binding of the book is um, like. I don't have a big bite. I wish I did, but I don't. So um, I've actually made these holes with a nail punch and a hammer. And um, that worked fine. I think probably that was the hardest part of the book actually, was to get <laughs> those lined up. <laughs> and in the right place. It was a bit um, stressful but hey it's worked out. Here there's another band across with some trim um, another journaling or photo mat tag and some lace and of course um, what would one of my books be without my favourite stamp? And this side is, um, I've made a, an envelope pocket and it's got a magnet in it too. Um, I don't, haven't got anything in there but actually that does worry me a little bit because it's so deep. If things go right down to the bottom I'm not sure how I'm going to get them out but I didn't think of that when I made it so a learning experience. I had thought of trying to sort of put a ribbon down in there somehow so that I could pull the ribbon up um, and pull things out if they got too far down but hmm, I'll work on that and I've learnt from it. A little cameo here, oops I'm sorry, sorry. Um, these papers are beautiful and they do go well together, the whole three. Well, I think they do anyway. Um, this is another torn edge page here and I've inked that up and just put some 
these papers do have a lot of lovely things you can cut out on them, um, in them, so I've done that. Just little embellishments that I've made. Um, here I've made a flip waterfall, is it? I think that's what you call them. A waterfall little photo mat. Here and that can actually come out of there. So um, I guess if I wanted, I could put more photos here, and I could also put one here. So that just slides into there like that. Over the page. I've stitched on this page again. I haven't stitched on every page, but I have stitched on some pages. Um, I've done a diagonal pocket here with some lace I've dyed. That was white lace and I've dyed it with walnut crystals. I'm having fun with walnut crystals at the moment. Um, it gives a very nice aged look to your um, things that you dye. I've made a tiny little pocket here and just tucked in some teensy tags here just because. Pin here on this page. Um, some buttons, something can go in there but I sort of thought that there's enough going on in the page so I didn't put anything in there. Um, this one is another, what is it, oh it goes that way, that's right, um, photo concertina book I guess you call that. I didn't put mats on that side, but um, if I need to, I can always add those. I've used my tab punch here, a ribbon, and I've sewn on a picture here from the attic. Um, here, I've used this punch here and some more punches here, edge punches, um, dyed seam binding, another mat, and this one is, um, this undoes, opens like that. Use my tab punch here. And over here, last page, I sew on a vintage um, piece of twill here and on, put that on the ribbon and that lifts up, that's magnet, a magnet, and that opens like that. I could journal here, it's got lines actually on the paper, a photo here, or two smaller ones, whatever, it goes like that, and on the back this is the um, case of craft again, and I've got a little um, fabric pocket here that I've made, and I've got some little cards in there, just little cards, so that's that, and um, as I showed you that was the back of the book, with my stenciling attempt. So yes, that's um, my memory book from the attic. So it's a beautiful day here today in um, 
Australia it's early spring and um, we've got some birds building a nest just above where I am at the moment so I'm really enjoying watching them, they're so cute and it's going to be lovely to actually watch that process and so thank you very much to all my lovely regular uh, um, commenters I really appreciate your comments and for you taking the time out with me thank you very much it means a lot and thank you to my new subscribers and new people to my channel um, I hope you'll come back so for now, bye.